Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about making tea negative. We're going to talk about steaming feathers. Uh, what I want to show you is a way to revitalize your feathers, basically. And you can do this with a lot of things. It has some limitations. Uh, you know, I was thinking about it. I was sitting here, I was doing these, these, these wing sets, these traditional wing sets for some ghost-style flies for myself. And... You know, and I talk a lot about this when we're, when we're talking about handling materials, that you frequently have compromised feathers. You just, they just are. And it, especially when we start dealing with dyed uh, and strung stuff. Because, you know, these go into big vats and they're dyed and then they're, they're dried and you know, strung back up. And they're, not strung back up, but they're strung and, they're, and they're, then they're kind of smashed in, you know, to package them. And so you really screw up a lot of feathers that way. And so you're buying this bag, and, and like I said, always, we, you know, basically you're working on a 20 to 30 percent drop anyway. And this is just a way to help revitalize some of those feathers. And, and, and especially in some of the other things, like I had this, I was on these sets, I was, it, it's hard to see, but uh, on this set, I've got this little golden pheasant uh, breast feather, that's these red ones here, uh, over here. And when you see these, like, I buy these full skins or, uh, or even in the bag. When you see them, they, crack, they just smash these things in a bag, right? It's like they're doing as fast as they can. And when they take these, the, these skins, if you're, unless you're buying one that's actually laid out and done right, when you buy a skin like this, that thing is jammed into the bag. It's in a bag this big. Well, they, basically, they're going to fold this thing. And I just steamed this one a little while ago. When I got this, it was smashed up, heads bent over, its wings over the top of it. Well, hell, half the feathers that I needed are now are completely compromised, right? They're bent to hell is what they are. And so what this does is I'm just going to show you a way. It's, gonna, it's, it's not going to save a terrible feather, but it will help revitalize some of the other ones. And so like this feather here, this one's straight. And this one here, and I would never do this on a, on a once I've set them. I've glued these feathers together as wing sets. But I'm just going to, I'm going to show you on a couple of them what it can and what it can't do. And so it maybe helps you, instead of losing 30%, maybe you lose, you know, 20% or 15%. So basically, but I want you to see what it won't do. I've got this flank feather here, and this flank feather, as you can see, is twisted, right? Well, that's a natural cowlick to that feather. It has a function. That's not by, from the dyeing process. That's, that's back here. It's a, it's a, it's a flank that's designed to be wrap around the wing, right? It's the wing pocket. And so you're not going to take this out of it. But then you take this one here that's just kind of, it's, they're, they're kind of crumpled down and they're, you know, they don't look real clean. If I steam that, it's going to make it come back to shape. It's going to just, it's not going to take these bends out, but it, it, you, it will help you if you want to try and get them hot and you can just, you can kind of bend it out. So it, but basically it just fluffs the feather back up. Another really good spot for that is like, especially on your crest, if you work with crests and tippets, it's the neck, you know, the head and the neck. A lot of times, like you look at this thing, I was trying to find where they're, right here it was bent in half. Well, all those things were bent like this, and they were just smashed. I steamed them, they just come right back. If it's bent and cracked, it's not going to come back. But the crest, like this thing right here, which is made to be one piece that's straight over the top of a wing, right? It's, a, it's, a, it's an accent. Well, when, I, when this thing was bent in half like that, when I got it out of the bag, and I steamed it real easy, and like I said, I'm gonna, I've got a steamer going here, it's for clothes, uh, but just sitting there. If you had the steamer like this, if you're just using a coffee pot or whatever you've got for steam, all you're doing is you're allowing it to go back to its natural shape. And it's as simple as, and again, this is a really crappy feather. I'm not gonna fix this. I'm not gonna get the dye to go down, but you can see how it's all, clumped up, it's got a pin around the bottom, pin feather. But basically what I can do is I can take a feather like this, which is pretty compromised, and all you do is you sit up, you know, use the coffee pot, and you just sit up here and you would look and let it steam out, and basically it'll go back to shape. I'm gonna, I'll get it to, it's coming back to shape right now. I'm just letting it work around and let it, it'll come back. It'll take a feather like that and essentially it'll it'll bring it back to that kind of shape. I've got like this schlopping feather here. This is, it's not a bad feather, but it can be made perfect by simply letting it steam itself back 
and let it just come back together. And, you know, it's going to be a little bit damp. I bring it back in here, work the feathers back, and if in about 30 seconds of just doing that, it'll come back to shape. Another thing you can do with this stuff, which are, this really bugs me. We sell our, we take this out of the bags at the shop here. But when I get this stuff for doing, these are all separate, but when I get this, this rabbit strip, right, and I want to see this stuff, and it's all just clumped up, and it's got all these cowlicks because it's bent in half, I can take this stuff, and I can put it in here. Don't let it get soaking wet. All you got to do is let it just settle down. And you can see it just starts to straighten out. You can see it straightening out right there. And he, in 20, 30 seconds, even down in this stuff here, you can watch it. It'll just, see, it's, it's just going straight right there. All that stuff's going to go back. And now instead of looking at all those stupid bends because they jammed this junk in, the, you know, in a bag, now I've got nice straight strips I can see what I'm working with. If I wanted a dark strip, I've got it. And I'm not looking at it half hide and half, and half uh you know, hair. So, and the last thing I wanted to say was just that if you do the same thing, if you take your flies out of a fly box and you, and they're just smashed up, you know, you got done fishing, you put them in, you didn't dry them right, you just stuck them in the box, you can revitalize a fly. It's unbelievable. You take one that's just been smashed, right? It's on the bottom of your gear bag. You put that over the steam, and I'm not kidding you, 20 seconds, and that thing will go right back where it belongs. It'll reset, it'll do everything it's supposed to. So it'll help save some, you know, it'll save some of your older flies you didn't take care of. But more importantly, is it just going to give you a little bit more use out of this bag of, a bag of feathers or whatever. It's going to, it'll let you revitalize them just a little bit so you don't have a complete drop of maybe, you know, 20, 30%. Maybe you cut that in half. So, anyway, it's a simple trick. I hope it helps you out. Hope you enjoyed it.